क्वेश्चन नंबर थर्टी सिक्स से अ ब्लॉक ऑफ मास एम स्लाइड डाउन अ रफ इंक्लाइन प्लेन ऑफ इंक्लिनेशन थीटा विद कॉन्स्टेंट स्पीड वी द मिनिमम इंस्टेंटेनियस पावर रिक्वायर टू मूव द सेम ब्लॉक अप द इंक्लाइन प्लेन विद सेम स्पीड वी इज नॉट ए स्टूडेंट्स इन द फर्स्ट केस इट इज गिवन दैट a block of mass m slides down a rough inclined plane of inclination theta with a constant speed v which means that in this case the kinetic friction that is mu mg cos theta would be equal to mg sin theta such that there is no net force and the speed remains constant it means that the kinetic friction has a value of mg sin theta now dear students if we Pull the block up with the same speed. Then the net force that we have to balance would be friction plus the component of gravity along the inclined plane. That is, we have to apply a force equal to mg sine theta plus kinetic friction. That will be equal to two mg sine theta. The power of this force would be equal to F P. That will be equal to two mg sine theta into V. And hence the correct answer for this particular question is option number four. Now, dear students, let us proceed to the question number thirty-seven. Question number thirty-seven says a body of mass zero point five kg is projected from a height of ten meter with a speed ten root two meter per second. At an angle of 45 degree with the horizontal, the body will hit the ground with speed of. Now, dear students, as per the question, from a height of 10 meter, a body is projected such that the angle of projection is 45 degree, and the speed of projection is 10 root 2 meter per second. Now, dear students, we have to find out the speed of the particle when it reaches the ground. Using the principle of conservation of mechanical energy, we can write down that the increase in kinetic energy would be equal to the loss of potential energy. That is, the potential energy which is lost will be equal to 0.5, that is mass, multiplied by g, that is acceleration due to gravity, multiplied by 10, that is the height. This will be equal to half m v square minus half m u square, where v and u are the final and initial speeds. Dear students, we can further write down that 50 is equal to 100 into 0.5 v square minus half into 0.5. Into ten root two square. On solving this particular expression, we can find out that v is equal to twenty meter per second. And therefore, dear students, the option number three for this particular question is the correct answer. Now let us proceed to the question number thirty-eight. Question number thirty-eight says a shell of mass ten kg at rest explodes into three fragments of mass ratio. One is to two is to two. The first two fragments move in opposite direction with speed fifty meter per second and twenty five meter per second respectively. The kinetic energy of third fragment just after explosion is. Now, dear students, let us assume that the masses are m, two m, and two m as per the ratio given. Using the principle of conservation of linear momentum, we can see that since the initial momentum is zero, the final momentum should be zero as well. Therefore, we can write that m into fifty plus two m into minus twenty five plus two m into v should be equal to zero. Here, dear students, we are using the negative sign with minus twenty five because it is given that the two particles are moving in opposite direction. So, if one velocity is taken as positive, we are taking the next velocity as negative. On solving this expression, we get v to be equal to zero, which means, dear students, that the third fragment remains at rest, and hence its kinetic energy is also zero, which makes the option number four of this question the correct answer. Now, dear students, 
लेट एस प्रोसीड टू क्वेश्चन नंबर थर्टी नाइन क्वेश्चन नंबर थर्टी नाइन से इज अ पार्टिकल ऑफ मास एम इज थ्रोन वर्टिकली अपवर्ड फ्रॉम टॉप ऑफ अ टावर एंड अनदर पार्टिकल ऑफ मास टू एम इज थ्रोन एट एन एंगल सिक्सटी डिग्री फ्रॉम ग्राउंड द एक्सेलरेशन ऑफ सेंटर ऑफ मास ऑफ टू पार्टिकल सिस्टम वेन दे आर इन फ्लाइट इज नो डी स्टूडेंट्स वेन द पार्टिकल्स इन आर इन फ्लाइट द फोर्स दैट एक्ट ऑन द पार्टिकल इज ग्रेविटी we can write down the net force on the total system to be equal to m into g that is vertically downward direction plus 2m into g this is also in vertically downward direction if we divide this by total mass that is m plus 2m we get the acceleration of center of mass on solving this expression we get the acceleration of center of mass to be equal to g and hence dear students Option number one is the correct answer. Now let us proceed to the question number forty. Question number forty says that locate the coordinates of center of mass of arrangement shown in figure. The three rods are identical in mass and length. Dear students, before proceeding with the solution, let us first write down the coordinates of center of mass of each individual rod. We must know that the center of mass of a rod lies at its geometric center. So therefore, for this rod, the center of mass would be at L by two. Comma zero for this rod, the center of mass would be at zero comma l by two, and for this rod, the coordinates of its center is minus l by two comma l. Now, dear students, to find out the location of center of mass, we can write down that the x component of the center of mass coordinate would be equal to m one x one plus m two x two. Plus m3 x3 divided by m1 plus m2 plus m3. On substituting the values, we get x2 be equal to m into l by 2 plus m into 0 plus m minus l by 2 divided by total mass that is 3m. This would be equal to zero. Similarly, we can find out the y component of center of mass coordinate using the formula that y coordinate is equal to m1 y1 plus m2 y2 plus m3 y3 divided by m1 plus m2 plus m3. Therefore, we can write that m into zero. Plus m into l by two plus m into l divided by total mass that is three m. Dear students, this will be equal to l by two. Therefore, dear students, the correct answer for this particular question is option number two. Now let us proceed to the question number forty one. 